it's Dorothy Guiding with Scrapbook in Quebec and today I'm here for the Scrapbook Nerd online shop. I was challenged to create a layout with a really big title this week and as it turns out I love making pages with big dynamic titles. So I'm going to share a few tips and tricks today but I'm also going to demonstrate step by step how to incorporate really big titles on a layout. Now, here's what I'm going to be using. It's products from Echo Park's Little Lumberjack collection. And I also have three different alphas. I have thickers as well as two different alpha die sets. And I got all of this at the Scrapbook Nerd online shop. So I will link up the products as well as the shop below in case you're interested. And if ever you click on a product and it says, notify me, that means it's temporarily out of stock. So make sure you click notify me and you'll get an email as soon as it's back in stock. I'm out of focus for 35 seconds. I apologize for that. I prepared a frame style foundation in advance with three sheets of paper and I gutted two of them. One of them I cut in half and adhered together. This one right there, you can't tell because it's a wood grain and that eventually will be a shelf beneath my photo. And I matted my photo in advance and I have some paper on my desk but I'm not gonna use all of it. I'm gonna play around with product today. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is prepare my foundation page or continue preparing my foundation page. And I'm going to start with that cut apart sheet. There are four there and I'm going to use that basically as a mini page. It's going to be where I do a lot of layering. And now I'm taking this wood grain paper and I'm trimming it down. I am putting measurements for everything on the screen. Um, and that's going to be part of a shelf that goes beneath the photo. Now I'm going to cut myself another piece of paper as well. So there's going to be actually two layers on this shelf. And this is really kind of a wild eclectic mix of colors in my opinion. It's part of the collection, which is what attracted me to it in the first place. I understand the black, red, and white together, but that brown mixed in really kind of threw me off, but at the same time attracted attracted me to it. Anyway, now I have all these pieces in place and I'm going to play around with placement. But before adhering anything, I do want to work on my title because this is about title. So I'm showing you a quote that I found online. I basically googled cat quotes and came up with the smallest Feline is a Masterpiece by Leonardo da Vinci. And that is a really fun way to find a title. And that is actually a suggestion by Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. She has a YouTube channel and she's fantastic with titles. So I'm going to put a link to her channel below as well. So now what I'm doing is playing around with placement. As you can see, I in advance, I cut out my title and I have it all adhered to wax paper, including the thickers. And I've got them cut in pieces just so I can play around with placement on the page. Now I'm finding Masterpiece way too big, even though I want it to have a huge impact on the page. So I decide to cut it in half and under normal circumstances, I wouldn't divide that up into two words, but I'm playing here. This is kind of a playful page, so I'm just kind of going with the flow. I end up deciding to go with kind of a diagonal design here. I'm going to worry about is a, uh, those two small words later on, but I'm mostly worried about those three bigger words. So now that I'm happy with the placement, I'm speeding up the film and I'm adhering this all down exactly as I had placed it. Now, normally when I adhere pieces to a page, I start with the paper and then the photos, but you're gonna notice in this case, the title is really a big part of this page. So I'm adhering the border down, but what I decided when I was playing around with placement of the title is that I wanted the word peace to be just on that brown paper. So I adhered that first, and on top of that, I'm adhering this block. I also had decided when I was playing around with placement that I wanted the word master to be on that block 
and that the photo be placed right on top of it. So I'm placing the word, I'm adhering the word master down before adhering the photo. So I'm kind of mixing up the order of what I would normally do simply because this title is really an important part of this page. It's a huge decorative element on this page. Now I'm going to adhere the first part of the title on top of the page. I stopped it a bit because I was kind of doing the same thing over and over, but you may notice the word smallest, which is the smallest word in the title, by the way. I kind of tucked it in the E of the word the, but I also want the beginning of the word feline to kind of fall underneath smallest. And I was able to do that simply because I was playing around with the wax paper. Had I not done that, I wouldn't have known. Anyway, as you can see, my title's in place. It's really fun. I find it fun anyway. And now what I'm going to do is get out my decorations and a journaling box. So I've got a bunch of stickers and ephemera from this collection, and I'm taking a frame there and just adding some graph paper inside. And that is where I will be doing my journaling later on. And now I'm just going to layer up a whole bunch of ephemera pieces and eventually I put a few stickers in there on the right hand side of the page. So as you can see, I really have a diagonal design going there. I haven't actually finished the title at this point, but it's going to be tucked in there, but I want to see where my decorations go before I actually do that. So as you can see, all I'm doing is playing with decorations. You may notice as well, this is a collection that's Little Lumberjack. I think it was meant for little boys or something like that. And again, I didn't have any photos to go with Little Lumberjack type of photos, but I bought it because of the color. So um, anyway, a lot of the expressions are very general and it could be for outdoorsy type things. And in this case, I'm using it for um, uh, my pet, but um, actually some of the decorations, and you'll see that a little bit later on, I kind of alter them a bit. So I'm like repurposing this kit so that it actually works for me. I'll talk about that in a little bit. So I'm putting down my journaling box and I'm tucking in this other little piece of ephemera and I'm really liking how this looks. It's really a lot of fun. What's really starting to bother me is that word free, which is on the left hand side of the word master. Um, it's kind of standing out a bit too much for me. So eventually I do come in and cover that up with some stickers. I'm adding a few enamel dots there. And that is a sticker sheet, again from Echo Park, for, but from another collection called I Love My Cat. So I come in there with that little heart, but I do want to pop that up on foam adhesive. So I'm cutting myself out a little circle in cardstock just to reinforce it a little bit and adding some foam adhesive. Of, and then I actually find myself the cutest little cat face that I end up putting above my title. And that's another way to make titles fun is just by incorporating little decorations within the title. And now again, like I said, that word at the bottom free was bothering me. So I ended up going back into the stickers and I find that little log there. I can't read it on the screen when I'm doing my voiceover, but all I can tell you is that the top part didn't make sense. So I covered it up with another sticker that says rough and tumble. And then it was perfect. It was rough and tumble and, and very good looking or something like that. So that works for Chester. And I'm adding a bit of cardstock and then foam adhesive. And then the only thing I'll have left to do is my journaling, which I do do off camera. So when you're creating dynamic titles, one thing you can do is look up a really fun quote that has to do with your theme. You can mix up fonts, mix up colors, certainly mix up thickers and flat die cut letters. That is always really fun. Adhere it to wax paper and play around with placement. That is a really 
fun thing to do and just have fun with titles. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Scrapbook Nerd YouTube channel as well as my channel, Scrapbooking Quebec. And anyway, be sure to check out the online shop as well. Thank you so much and have a great day.